perfect hunting experience. Well, there's just about as many opinions on that as there are hunters. Some love the beech forests and farmlands of a place like Hirschfelden. For me, I prefer a different kind of wild, where snow-covered peaks surround valleys several miles wide. That is Leighton Lake District, the best hunting reserve you'll find in a hundred miles. Whether you're doing tasks for the locals or just hunting to your heart's content, you're free to explore this Pacific Northwest Reserve however you want. You may find your favorite hunting spot along a large valley lake or deep inside a dense spruce forest. The Leighton Lake District is home to some of the most majestic animals of the wild, like the moose, the black bear, and the mighty Roosevelt elk. Bagging one of these will require a combination of the right equipment, skillful tracking, and stalking so you can get close enough for a clean shot. Few things beat hunting together with a group of friends, though. Everyone can bring their own skills and hunting equipment and play a part in finding and downing that big one. In the end, how, what, and where you want to hunt is all up to you. And a truly immersive next-generation hunting experience awaits. Peggy 16. Welcome to Hirschfelden. With its rolling fields and lush forests, it is one of the most beautiful areas in Central Europe and part of your hunting grounds in The Hunter, Call of the Wild. In this next generation hunting experience, you will explore a vast open world filled with breathtaking scenery and realistic wildlife. The game boasts a large population of animals, thousands, that are persistently simulated with unique needs and behaviors. You're free to hunt anywhere and in any way you want. And should you ever feel lost, the reserve wardens are there to provide you with helpful information. They also present you with a wide range of missions and tasks to take on, where you help and learn more about the local residents. Finding animals starts with listening to their calls or following their tracks. Footprints will show you their pace and direction, while droppings tell you how recently they passed. Once you spot the animal, you may need to get closer without alerting them for a reliable shot. Foliage will hide you from sight, but also makes more noise. Keep a watchful eye on the wind and make sure that the animal is not downwind from you as it can pick up on your scent. Moving around increases your heart rate and affects your ability to aim. Hold your breath to steady your aim and line up your shot for a quick and clean kill. Harvesting animals provides the resources you need to buy equipment and upgrade your character. But every harvest is also assigned a score, depending on the size and difficulty of the animal, as well as how skillful your shot was. But there's more to the wild than the animals. Lookout points help you explore the world, while outposts make getting around the huge reserve easier and provide options to rest or stock up. The elements can be fickle, and they will affect both hunters and prey. Over the course of the game, you will progress your character by leveling up a number of different skills, letting you take on more elusive and difficult wildlife with more hunting options. Apart from a wide selection of weapons, scopes, and ammunition to unlock and buy, there's various hunting equipment to help you, such as animal collars, scent lures, and optics. Bring all of these specializations into the game's seamless multiplayer and team up with others to take on animals that might otherwise prove too challenging. Who can bag the biggest trophy? Answer the call and find out.
Peggy 16. It's been a while, grandchild. But it's time to come back where life began. For us all. Back to the savannah that our ancestors walked. Back to the heat and the boabab trees. Time to come back to Vahonga savannah. To Africa. I can't fail our ancestors. I need to pass the torch to a new protector. A new warden. The hunger is in your blood. Here, you can chase after blue wildebeests. Lock horns with lesser kudu and pronking springbok. Encounter sight-striped jackals as they search for scrub hairs. And when you're bold enough, duel with the widow maker, the notorious Cape Buffalo. Opportunities like this don't come often, grandchild. So pack your suitcase. Africa is calling. Peggy 16. There are hunters, and then there are elite hunters. The elite never settle for gold when there is the glint of a diamond. They climb the highest mountains, patiently searching for the right moment to break the silence with a perfect shot. Fernando, every hunter's patience is rewarded with the hunt of a lifetime. Lines of axes deer roam the steppe. Our looping meadows teem with majestic spiral horn blackbacks. Our grass feeds the largest mule deer in the Americas. And our lakes are the most tranquil places where you can find flocks of brightly plumed cinnamon teal. And for the most elite hunters, Parque Fernando is home to record-setting red deer, the finest you will find on Earth. Just remember, you are not the apex predator here. That job belongs to the pumas, and they don't like to share. So what kind of hunter are you? Find out in Wild Patagonia. Peggy 16. Before we go any further, you should know, my expedition requires a serious professional, an experienced hunter. I need someone who does not fear the cold, harsh taiga from the banks of the frozen bay to the drunken forests, the mammoth tundra. Someone who respects the sacred reindeer, the proud moose, and the rare musk deer. Someone who can outwit the lynx and turn it from predator to prey. And someone who is not afraid to face the brown bear I need someone who can see, even through the storm, and stand tall on ice as it's cracking all around you. Maybe someone like you. I hope you brought a warm coat. Peggy 16. After all these years as a warden, 
I'm still impressed by the grit it takes to survive out here. Hunting in the last frontier always brings rewards. Without our influence on Alaska's delicate natural balance, life will only get tougher here at Yukon Valley. You will experience a moment, one that shows why we need not only a hunter, but someone who can understand this place. It might be at your first sighting of the caribou grazing on the crimson plains, or during an instant of tranquility as the valley sleeps under fresh snowfall. Perhaps it will come while you stalk a grizzly bear through the remote spruce forest, or during contemplation of the aftermath of an inferno sparked by nature itself. And as night falls, you might just hear the rowdy locals sing their night song to the sky. I'm sure you'll get to meet them. The wolves here are fast, smart, and utterly relentless. They don't scare easy either. It's my great pride to care for this wild, remarkable place and to welcome you to Yukon Valley. Peggy 16. My family has watched over this land for centuries. I grew up here, stalking the forests, hiking the hills, reading the skies. My very soul is entwined with this place, this hunting ground of kings. like you, someone I can trust, to help me protect the farmland and the flocks. Now is your chance to see a place like no other. As a girl, I chased European hair in the brush, walked alongside the majestic red deer, climbed the cliffs in search of mouflon sheep and watch the Iberian wolves stalk their prey. But the pride and joy of our land are the Spanish ibex, the humble ronda, the agile southeaster, the strapping betete, and the daunting gredos. Together, they are the Spanish Grand Slam, coveted by hunters the world over. My family entrusted me with this place. It is my destiny. I believe it may be yours too. Come, my friend. Join me in the rolling wilds of Cuatro Colinas. Peggy 16. To most people, the Rocky Mountains can be imposing, intimidating even. But in the shadows of these stony-faced giants, the best hunters always seem to rise to the occasion. The price of silver and gold is counted in more than just dollars, and we are still paying that price today. With you and Remy Warren on board, we're gonna show that even during hardship, this will always be the best place for hunters to experience what Colorado's wilderness has to offer. And they can start their day atop a mountain ridge, scanning the tree line for Rocky Mountain Elk, before using their afternoon to track the perfect pronghorn across the boundless grassy plains, or waiting for the perfect moment to glimpse a mule deer as it darts across the forest floor. 
while the committed can spend entire days tracking down the perfect mountain lion. But the real attraction for our connoisseurs is a little more feathery. Folks will flock here for our wild turkeys. So, how will you spend your time here at Silver Ridge Peaks? Peggy 16. Maybe you think you know this place? You've seen it on the big screen. Wondered at our varied landscapes. You've watched rustic scenes of village life. Epic battles under great stone monuments. But the real New Zealand is beyond your wildest imagination. I've never wanted for anything outside of this slumbering paradise, where the long river meets the coast at the foot of the southern Alps. The heady days of the venison wars are long gone, but with our unique biodiversity under threat, we need hunters like you more than ever. Experience a place where quick-footed chamois play atop alpine ridges so high you can almost touch the sky. Feral goats with sweeping horns make themselves at home on steep crags. While further down, open fields teem with feral pigs and mischievous rabbits. And on the west coast, wet and wild beech forests throng with all types of deer strutting through the thicket, from the big to the, well, bigger. But our top drawer is a little more elusive. The wily seeker deer will make you work for it. So come on. What stories will you tell at Te Awaroa National Park? Peggy 16. Out here, it's easy to lose your way. There's nothing to guide you but the sun and your own instincts. Survival is never a guarantee. And only the shifting sands bury those who didn't make it. This is Baquero country. Generations of cowboys have eked out a living on this land through revolution, war, and everything in between. If you're brave enough to strap a gun to your back and follow them, you might be surprised how alive everything is. Maybe you'll spot a collared peccary scurrying through the brushy hills, or track a prize-winning whitetail from the woodlands to the desert. You could hunker down and watch the elusive Mexican bobcat stalk antelope jackrabbits. Or why not meet our newest addition? But be warned, the ring-necked pheasant's no ordinary avian. You've got to make this bird use its wings. It's time for things to change. Either we keep on living as our forefathers did and lose our arroyo, the lifeblood of this bare earth, or we dare to carve our own path forward. If you can rise to the challenge, Rancho del Arroyo is ready for you. Peggy 16. Where I'm from, history is impossible to escape. It's found where a shack once hosted a blues guitar prodigy in loamy cotton fields. It's in the remnants of industry and the great winding river itself. Life here has taught us resilience, but now our community is overwhelmed and we need your help. Help us prepare the next generation. Show them what a true hunter's made of. Why not cut your teeth stalking gray foxes in the pine forests? 
or try flushing a flock of bobwhite quail out of the grasslands of the low country. We got a raccoon problem, requires some firepower. Or, if you're in the mood for something a little more old school, try prehistoric. Our state reptile is the indomitable American alligator. Welcome to the place where I'm from. Welcome to the home of the blues and the soul of the Deep South. Mississippi Acres Preserve. When the Ice Age ended, our country was formed. Where water meets skies, you'll find the coast of the Northern Light. Welcome to Finland. About 10,000 years ago, the Ice Age left all kinds of things to discover here in Finland. And ever since then, people have been leaving their mark too. Of course, you're here to hunt. And at this time of year, you'll see white tail, moose, brown bear, and even lynx. After the sun goes down, you're likely to find the infamous raccoon dog. But you won't forget the first time you spot a white willow ptarmigan from the shore, Eurasian teal on the water, or hear the unique mating call of a kaffirkailie. Whatever game bird you're looking for, there is a good chance you'll find it here. If you're lucky, you might even see the Northern Lights. So let me be the first to welcome you to Finland and to the coast of the Northern Light. Welcome to Rebontuli Coast. 